All right, for our putting together the stippling, the hatching, and the cross hatching, we're going to draw a hamburger today, or cheeseburger really. Um, and because my camera records upside down, I'm going to draw mine upside down. So just to start, uh, you can start at the top or the base. I think I'm going to start at the top. You're going to see this upside down, but then I will flip it for you so you can see it. I'm going to start with pen. And then it might be a little bumpy along the top. You are going to copy that picture I gave you. Or if you want to find your own picture, that's fine. But you'll have to submit what picture you're using if you're doing something different. So here's the top bun. And then I know there's a burger in there. And there's some tomatoes. So I'm just looking at the one that I've given you that worksheet on. So I'm going to get my tomatoes kind of in there for now. I'm going to do some adjusting and fixing and get those more dimensional. And then I'm going to add, I know some cheese is in here. I'm going to make a few adjustments just because I want to speed draw. But if you notice, I'm very light in sketching. I'm not going in really dark and heavy. And then I'm also going to, you know, if I make a mistake, because I'm using pen and that's what I want you guys to use, uh, then I just adjust it along the way. So I do have my burgers going to come out here a little bit. That cheese is kind of dripping over the top. And then there'll be some lettuce in here. So I know this lettuce is going to kind of come in and out and come outside the bun. Right underneath there is where the bottom bun will be. So this is just my starting point. And like I um, want to tell you, if for some reason, there you go. Now I'm kind of on track. Even now I'm drawing it upside down in my life. Even though this is not perfect and it's not exactly where I want it, if you are too nervous about just going for it and starting in, then you can go ahead and use pencil. But yeah, I'm just going to use those cross hatching and hatching lines to fix my mistakes. So all those mistakes I made, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to alter and change it as I work with the cross hatching and hatching. I would like you to use the one that we're using for today. So here's that picture. And like I said, if you feel like, ah, oh, I've got this, I'm going to find my own burger. I will let you uh, do that if you're experienced. If this is kind of a beginning step for you, let's just start with that. All right, I'm going to pause the camera. All right, so I'm back. I wanted to show you just some of the detail I'm starting on. I know that underneath the bun, there's some darkness and shadow. So that's a little bit darker there. I'm just building my darks versus light. And you can see it's not perfect and I'm practicing. So it's okay if you're learning and, and doing, you know, it looks sort of like a lemon. So I've been trying to adjust some of this edge. Here's where some of my just, uh, the line is a hatching, not the cross hatching. Sometimes when I build up, I just start with hatching and then decide later. Maybe I want to add some cross hatching. Maybe I don't. Maybe there's another little tomato in here I want to sneak in. So I'm just kind of building in where the shadows are first. And I did start with an outline. Remember we talked about outlining first and then building in. Then I'm just going to keep building. I might start with some little shadows around the sesame seeds. And I'm a really scribbly kind of sketcher, so I'm trying to not do that. I'm trying to keep it more cross hatching and hatching. So I'm going around those. It looks like they're kind of sticking up. All right, so working on that, it's going to take you a while because I don't know, it just does. So I'm going to stop here. I will keep working on this assignment. But for you guys, I want you to really um, just do some more practicing and getting used to this cross-hatching, hatching, and making the top highlight versus underneath where there's dark shadows. So really playing with light versus dark. 
one trip, a little tip that'll help you is put it far away from you. Go stand away, look at it, and then come back. Every once in a while, you need to stop and really look at what you're doing so you're not just on top of it looking all the time. So good luck. Uh, we're going to work on this assignment for the time period. And then I will have a flip grid for you guys to tell me the progress at the end of the day. All right.